Yo, what's poppin'? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, uh, I got an email from a subscriber. He was hitting me up. He was talking about, you know, long-distance relationships. Do they work? Okay, um, I'm gonna read this email, and I'm going to, you know, give my opinion and, and let you guys know what's poppin', all right? So, this one says, uh, hey, my name is, I'm gonna leave his name out, uh, I live in Baltimore, and my girlfriend lives in Philadelphia. To me, it's not really far. I can get to her in an hour and a half. We've been together for almost seven months and I uh, got a gut feeling that she's talking to other people. Uh, she lost her job, so I've been working a lot to help her out until she gets on her feet. I can't spend the night at her crib because her kids are there and she doesn't want me to come down and she doesn't want to come down to Baltimore. Uh, because my kid's mom threatened her and now she's scared. But my question is, how do you make a long distance relationship work? All right, so what it seems like is, you know, especially in, in this guy's case specifically, there's a lot of other shit going on in this relationship that it seems like it needs to be dealt with uh, more so than long distance being an issue. But I'm going to talk about long distance relationship first and I'm going to sort of get into some of the issues also in this email. Um, when it comes to long distance relationships, they can work if the two people in it, you know, know how to have a long distance relationship, meaning that, you know, they actually need to figure out a way for them to see each other in person as much as possible. Meaning, you know, they got to take out some time to get together, to see each other face to face and all that other good stuff, because if they don't do that, it's not it's usually not going to work so you know when people have long distance relationships where it's just like oh we're just calling each other and we're texting each other that's not enough because you have to have some sort of you know physical contact and interaction i'm not just talking about sex i'm just talking about the fact that you guys are with each other in person and 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 having and spending that time together you understand because you know the thing is is that what's happening is and even in this email you were saying oh i think she might be talking to other dudes the thing is, is that since you're not there physically with her and she's not there physically with you then it's going to be easier for you to get tempted to mess with other people you know so if you're having a monogamous relationship and it's long distance it's just incredibly easy for you to fall into the hands of somebody else because you you're lacking that physical um you know interaction you're having with the person right because i you know i used to man listen let me tell you something when i would be at a spot and i talk to a girl and she tell me she has a man but she's like oh it's long distance this dude lives in fucking chicago and, and i'm in new york or something i'm like listen that's just a that's just a green light like oh yeah it's 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 going down right now yeah i know people are like oh it's messed up but that's that's how it goes you feel what i'm saying so you know you gotta understand that part of the game now in your email there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's going on that seems like it's going to be an issue just generally in you know in your relationship you're it's like you know you're saying you're thinking the girl is messing with other dudes your baby mom's just trying to threaten her you know you're saying you can't go over to her house because of you know because she got kids or something like that and, and you know and you got kids and so you got all this other stuff going on that you might need to uh, handle within your relationship and you know and, and on top of that is long distance so you know long distance relationships are hard within itself but on top of that you seem like you have other things going on in your relationship that makes the relationship within itself difficult so you know what I would say is that you know you might need to fix or handle some of those situations first you know and and and, and get your relationship a little bit more stable then you can worry about the long distance thing because technically you're you know in your situation you're not it's not that much of a long distance like you said it's only like an hour and a half away so it's not like you can't you know it's going to be that difficult for you to go over there and see her or for her to come see you you understand the the problem is is that within your relationship there are certain situ uh, situations that's going on that is going to make your relationship within itself a struggle and then by it be even even being long distance is going to make it even more of a struggle because you know with the long distance thing it's hard enough already so it's, it's it'll be easier to make it work if the relationship is sort of smooth at first so then it's like oh our only uh problem or situation is the long distance 
but since you have other issues going on in your relationship, right? That within itself is going to be a problem. And then on top of that, you're, you know, it's, it's like you guys are away and then you both of you got kids and then, you know, you, you got to probably check your baby moms and tell her she got to chill the fuck out. You know, if you, if you suspect or you catch a girl messing with other dudes, that's something you got to deal with. You know, if you, if you're on that monogamous shit, you know, and you might need to even reevaluate your whole situation with this girl or your whole, um, you know, relationship with this girl. If it's, if the distance is an issue, if the kids thing is an issue, you know, you might need to say, okay, what can, what can we realist, realistically do to make, you know, things work between us, you know, and that might be that, you know, you have a different type of relationship. Maybe, hey, we're not, you know, you won't be uh, in a committed relationship with her. Maybe you guys just kick it once in a while. That, you know, that could probably be more beneficial. So then if that's the case, you wouldn't have to worry about her, you know, seeing other dudes and getting with other dudes. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it's really, I think you got to focus a lot on making what the, the, the situation of your relationship work as far as what's going on in your relationship first and then, you know, reevaluate how the long distance is going to affect it as far as, you know, keeping it going. You understand? But there's a lot of stuff in your relationship that seems like it's uh, it's kind of all over the place. So you got to get that, that fixed up. And, you know, luckily for you, as far as the distance thing, you know, you're not as long distance as most other people. Because some people, you know, they're like in, you know, you're, you're said you're in Baltimore, she's in Philly, it's like an hour and a half or something. Some people are like in New York and having relationships with people in Paris and shit, you know what I mean? So that's like long, long distance, right? But within your situation, you know, it's not that long, dis the distance isn't that long. And I think the more important thing would be to uh, focus on fixing the issues within the relationship to make the relationship more smoother, all right? So that's all I got for today. Um, guys, if you have any questions, click the link below, hit me up. Also, click the link under that to get my free ebook, The Magnificent 10 Crucial Dating Tips for Men. Also, click the link under that to go to badboymembership.com where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video tutorials every month. And those things will, oh my God, it's gonna step up your game so much. It's like, if you guys are not on the membership, if you're not on the Bad Boy membership, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what you're doing with your life, man. I don't. I don't. This is. I'm telling you. You got to get that step up in game. You'll make it happen. Then these lights are hot as fuck. But you know, I gotta. <laughs> you gotta. You gotta be able to see me in these videos. But I'm done. I'm out of here, and I'll holler at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.